It was this woman, Iman al Obeidi, alleging gang rape by Gaddafi's forces, who first drew the world's attention to the plight of women in Libya. This vision was filmed at a hotel in Tripoli, as Iman al Obeidi attempted to give journalists details of what happened to her. Staff tried desperately to keep her quiet. <laughs> In a Benghazi hotel room, Iman al Obeidi's father tells me about the first time he spoke to his daughter after her ordeal. Iman al Obeidi was led away from journalists and taken to prison. She was eventually released and weeks later managed to flee the country. <laughs> Iman al Obeidi isn't alone. Many women have similar stories. I joined Dr. Leila and Dr. Faiza in this camp for evacuees from the front line as they distribute medicine to the women. The doctors suspect that there are a number of rape victims in the camp. They are living a denial situation. They deny even that happened. And we know it happened. We have seen it in like uh, some uh, photos in the mobiles. And uh, we heard about it from some neighbors. But nobody came forward and uh, said that it had happened freely. We've been trying for days to get a hold of rape victims, but it seems that the doctors here are facing uh, the same sorts of problems as we are. People don't want to talk. It seems that some of the pressure is coming from the families and the men uh, in the households uh, who are stopping the women from coming forward because of the so social stigma. Uh, even here, we had some problems with uh, some of the men questioning what, what we were filming, why we were filming. Compounding the problem are rumors spreading around Benghazi that mercenaries infected with HIV are responsible for these attacks. Yes, we've, uh, uh, actually we are going to publish this study. At a Benghazi hospital, I meet psychiatrist Dr. Sihan. They extinguish the uh, smoke in... Uh, she says that in the last two months, she has collected hundreds of claims by women that have been raped by Gaddafi soldiers. Some women, they said uh, they've been kidnapped and they bought in the car and they've been raped in the car, in their uh, soldier car and they left. Some of the women, they said we've been, uh, they tie up our uh, uh, brothers and fathers and they rape us in front of them. It's really very complicated. They're too scared. Uh, some of them and their husband know about what's happened to them and they left. They, uh, their husband left them. They live with their own uh, parents, some of them completely abandoned from both families. It's lots of psychological problem to these uh, things and I think... Uh, Despite yeah, death threats from men defending their family's honour, Dr. Seaham wants to speak out and she plans to send a report to the UN. I think Gaddafi militias that do that to put fair in these people. I don't believe uh, anyone really in good conditions, in good mental state, and see cases like this, and sh they shouldn't uh, hide it. I think they should talk about it, and they should encourage the women to talk about it. And uh, I'm sure one day these women, they will be appear in the TV, and they will be able to talk and defense about their self and their right. This week, the doctors had a breakthrough. The investigation of rape as a weapon of war has now been officially taken up by the International Criminal Court. <laughs> Salwa de Galil is the only female member of the National Transitional Council. 
the political body representing liberated Libya. She is considered one of the most influential women in the country's rebel-held areas. والآن تمارس دورها إلى جانب الرجل مثلا في المستشفى في التمريض في في الإغاثة ما فيش فرق. She tells me that while war crimes committed by Gaddafi are significant, her priority is shaping the new Libya. بالفعل في الماضي لم يكن هناك مؤسسات مجتمع مدني خلال 42 سنة نظام القذافي لم يكن يعترف بمؤسسات المجتمع المدني الآن ومنذ تأسس المجلس الوطني الانتقالي في يعني أقل من شهرين المجلس الوطني الانتقالي متشكل هناك سبعين مؤسسة مجتمع مدني تم تشكيلها وتم إشهارها سواء متعلقة بالطفل بالمرأة بحقوق الإنسان بالبيئة فبالفعل هناك زخم من مؤسسة سوى تجيليل may hold a powerful position in the new government but it's women like this who form the grassroots of this revolution. Day after day, these mothers, wives and daughters gather outside Benghazi's courthouse, demanding answers to the disappearance of their male relatives. sea of faces forms a symbolic shrine honoring those who sacrificed their lives for the liberation of Libya's second largest city. <laughs> 83 year old Noura Jibril was born when the monarchy was in power and has spent more than half her life under the Gaddafi dictatorship. of Benghazi saw the opening skirmishes of this war. Now liberated, Benghazi is a haven for those evacuated from cities like Ajdabia and Misrata, where fighting continues. This woman, too afraid to give her name, fled Misrata with her seven children. She left behind her husband and son to fight with the rebel army. Assalamu alaikum. How are you? 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 We gave them our satellite phone so they could make contact. How are you? 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 محمد كويس نسأل عليه محمد محمد وين نبي نكلمه نبي نكلم محمد في الجبهة ما تخليش يخش غادي يا ناصر the memories of their escape to Benghazi are still fresh لكن اليوم اللي طلعنا فيها للساعة ستة العشية طلعنا فيها طلعنا بالجرات منطقتنا قاعد يدر فيها بالجرات والجرات ما نعرفوش وين طاح عيروسنا الدنيا راحت سودة والدخان أسود وعيروسنا يضرب ما كناش فكروا نطلع من حشنا أنا ما كنتش فكر نطلع من سرات أبك قبل لا يخشوا نجوا واللي قاعدين الله أعلم بهم. So is there any news of any of the women that have been left behind? في شيء كذا حاجات اللي صار الاغتصابات والخطف والحاجات هذي صار كلها مزبوط فيش حاجة كذا أي حاجة سمعتين فيش حاجة كذا كدش. Yeah, hi. 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 Hi.
ça veut dire Le piquet de All over Benghazi, I find rage and grief. Nazia and her sister lost four members of their family as they fled Misrata. Nazi's sister was badly injured when their house was destroyed by rockets. I visited the Benghazi Mental Hospital, where the intake of patients has tripled since the war began. I was introduced to this woman, but she was too disturbed to make any sense. Like many other women, she is suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder. Each day, the streets of liberated Benghazi are filled with women's voices. Refusing to be silenced, they stand side by side with men in the struggle to bring down the Gaddafi regime. ستتغير ليبيا طبعا الى الاحسن بالتاكيد هي لماذا قامت الثوره الا من اجل ان تغير البلد من الوضع السيء السابق اللي كانت موجوده عاشت ليبيا حرة مستقلة Libyan people they start I think we are actually helping each other love each other this revolution changed everybody